Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Day before yesterday, on day number 106, we began discussing the notion of absolute value inequalities. We're going to continue with that topic right now. Today is the third video in the series of 15 videos where we'll solve absolute value inequalities. Let's see what we have for today. As soon as I put the as soon as I put the problem on the blackboard, I would like you to pause the video. I would like you to solve the problem yourself. Once you solve it, then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do to, 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 together in a few seconds time. Do that always as a habit without my reminding you to do that. Do you understand? Without my having to remind you is what I meant to say. 7p plus 3, absolute value of 7p plus 3 plus 6, we are told, is less than or equal to 1. Go ahead, do it yourself and see what happens. I'll give you 5 seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video and we'll do it together. All right. So we have to solve this problem. Let's do it. First thing to do is to get rid of the 6 here. We get rid of the 6 by subtracting 6 from both sides. Subtract 6 from here, subtract 6 from here. This is a positive 1. Positive 6 and negative 6 will go away. And we'll find that the absolute value of 7p plus 3, we are told is less than positive 1 and negative 5. Is positive 1 and negative 6 is negative 5. Absolute value of 7p plus 3 is less than negative 5. What do you see there? Do you see, do you see a problem here? Absolute value of anything, absolute value, here, here we have an absolute value. Since the absolute value, since, since the absolute value can never be a negative number, how can absolute value be a negative number? Absolute value means you take the positive, positive part of it. Absolute value of negative 37, by the time you take the absolute value, it becomes positive 7. That's what absolute value means. Absolute value means that you ignore the negative sign. Absolute value cannot be a negative quantity. Absolute value cannot be a negative quantity. Absolute, that's what absolute value means. Absolute value has to be always positive quantity. Since the absolute value can never be a negative number, and here we are told that this quantity has to be less than a negative 5, since we are told that the, this quantity, 7p plus 3, has to be absolute value of 7p plus 3 has to be less than negative 5 and absolute value can never be negative number let alone being less than negative 5 that tells us that the solution solution to this inequality does does not exist the solution to this inequality does not exist. That's one way of saying it. Or we, sometimes in the, some math book, they will tell you that the solution to, it should say to, solution to this inequality is a null set. Null set means it doesn't exist. It's an empty set, which is same as saying that is, it has, it has no solution. It is a null set. It's an empty set. It doesn't exist. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Same thing again, as soon as I put it on the blackboard, you're going to pause the video and you're going to do it yourself. I'm going to put it on the blackboard and I'm going to give it to you as a homework. We'll do it in the next video. Here's the next problem. This is for tomorrow. Six y minus three, absolute value of six y minus three, absolute value of six y minus three plus nine is greater than or equal to 7. That's your homework for tomorrow. I'm not going to do it right now. 
This is your homework for tomorrow. I want you to do it yourself. Once you have done it, then watch the next video, day number 109. Then and only then I want you to watch the next video. Okay? Bye now.